These are the top 10 plays from week five of the CDL major three qualifiers. Oh, making plays again. Who can all four flying together, trying to clutch this 3v4. The gruesome twosome looking for their second kill here in the round. Can they get it together? Nasty in a corner, post it up. Here they go. Whoa, boy, 04 gets it. Ghosty can't get a pair. 04 shooting bodies, the round is done. My goodness, he says, no, thank you, boys. They smash through. Allowed for a solid hold. It's Pentagram through the water. It's going to try and catch an arrow. He's going to hear a dull, pick it up, get the shots, lock it down, hold the time. It's finally a solid one here. And Mr. Midmap in attach is lining him up. Five straight makes the triple look easy. Here in the second offensive attempt, a moment of pause as Ghosty does get pushed off his ankle towards A, but the follow up from Krep right into the face of Shotzi. Not a chance for him to, to shoot back. Krep over the flank. Oh my. Caught off guard. Krep is doing it all. Three kills for him in the round, working on the ace and potentially the streak. Dashy trying to slide away where Nasty's there to meet him. And oh my goodness, Kremp had some words that you don't need a lip reader to say as he gets three of the four quickly in the face of that optic attack. Yeah, he said happy Mother's Day. I hope you guys are having a good time. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put it onto these boys in green. He finds a triple through top mid. Finds the first, also suits the trophy. Just simply getting it done on this side of the map. The second, but the third is so much better. Great shots with only six HP left. The deciding factor to why LAT are currently up 4-0. But Hydra through DVD, that's gonna slow down the play for this A hit, because now all of a sudden the flank becomes a bit of an issue. Envoy trying to get this thing planted, set up for the water side street, but they don't expect Kismet taking the long route behind. Things once again start to become in shambles for Toronto's post plant setup. It's just down to Envoy for a 1v3. Kismet on four in a row, and this stun's gonna lock him into place. The shot through the wall are gonna land, and New York continue to pull back odd number man situations. That's insane plays right there out of the subliners. Like, they already spotted. Once Hydra gets that info, there's a couple people pushing up the middle of the map. It was him and Kismet, that dynamic duo working their way around the pinch. Hydra gets the timing onto Scrap working through DVD to make it a 3v3, but then while Hydra was causing all those, all those problems over towards the DVD area, Kismet already Already found himself on a route working his way behind mannequin so a freebie on to inside catches them off guard and you're never gonna catch kismet slipping he knows that the pressure is gonna be on him he finds the second on to kleenex the stun is gonna connect but the shots a little bit better column so you need to find and find a three piece if you want to try to get yourself onto this point but this is their last hurrah only two defenders inside the zone. The others for New York. Worried about the overextension. Oh my God. Oh, Here come the flood. Skies by himself could do nothing. Trophy system this time gets placed safely. On top of that, it's a 12v2. Toronto looking clear here at A. Unless maybe some desperate nades land and popcorn him out of the zone. Hydra tries to step up. Kismet by himself can only get two. And Toronto takes the round five offensive win. Try to tell me you don't love control after that. Oh my God. Oh Especially if they can earn a couple streaks. So you're going to contest this all the way down to the very end. And they are finding every single kill yeah. in the feed. Shotzi, the last player up. You take care of him. You have them in a the trap. Easier said than done, though. The self-stun works out. Pistol out. Also, the prediction. Oh, my God. Crap. And Shotzi's found three. Here come the rest of the green wall behind him. And he's going to take space to make sure that Thieves defensively. Putting two there for Rocker. And Clay bounce back. Gets himself a pair as well. Mr. Eubanks swinging. Oh, good coverage as well. Yeah, Linz is going to get spotted on the outside, and now Linz isolated, but Clayster trying to shoot him with a gun that didn't have bullets. And now Felony a little bit too slow. He's getting pinned in the back of the map, but good reads from Felony might have this clutch in the bag. Oh, and now it's a tight 1v1, my goodness, fellow. T fell, taking on Linz. Linz goes back for the bomb plant. I love it. Is Felony going to get hit fast enough? Oh, my goodness. Renetti at the ready. <gasps> do it. Do it. Love it. Do it. Yes, do it. Goodbye, Linz. The round is over. That's an absolute dream. It doesn't get better. Like, your eyes light up when you catch him as he's running away from it. That's the instant call to hop the bomb. Not yet flip. LA is successful on the break. But you're more focused on finding these kills and chaining it to that rotation as well. Tramp. Eyes on an order of different places he could be contested from. Not a lot of support here yet for Thieves. Good bounce up, though. Finds himself a one-for-one. One. Pred, though, on three in a row. 
and nasty trying to play oversight on the back side of the hill will be also denied so four kills a full team wipe all of it going the aussie's way damage that is Seven. absolutely disgusting you get for a little dicey uh, and you know i love what optic did here obviously we see sub base which we haven't seen in a while out of them making sure it's polished when we get over towards yeah. that major now five and oh on the season first first the woes continue picked apart again foster breach is firing nice shots there from geo lordy i thought he was dead he wins it but it's traded down to narrow now in a one versus two oh he gets spotted though has to try to finesse Still time to work with Boston have to hop on the bomb. Now it's a 50-50 and it goes his way. Nero able to buy enough time. It gets close. They're able to clutch on up. And they needed, they needed that one. Somebody to go big in a moment and it's Nero that's able to do it. And Dre, he'll be holding. We'll wait for the smoke to come in and the chaos to ensue. From this position, you know what, round one. You lost a man early. This time you're able to get the first blood. Nero going big, five in a row. Looking for six, able to keep on eating. Maybe the ace, Prisa, the last one up. He's able to take down one, but playing it patiently here so far as Nero. Doesn't want to throw anything away. 15 seconds to go on the clock. And I love this. Just the pace, patience toy, it's all four. Nero, a monster in that round. And he's on seven in a row. But they're all gonna jump He's on going. through. And now it's a hunt. Johnny's gonna find the first. And it looks like, who is that? Johnny's gonna read it. Johnny's gonna read it. The new addition able to read the pitch. Two on three for Boston. Attach is able to find it. Beans now in the bar, drinking alone. And Boston don't win in a game five. Oh, they were able to win one search. It was monumental, but it will end uh, there. New record. Whoa, putting up numbers is Nero. Nero, congrats on dropping 16. How'd it feel? Thank you. It felt great, you know. Just a, just a normal takeover, you know. I had two of those this year. One on land, one now. Yes, you have. And I wanted to ask you about the most recent one that we just witnessed on Six Star. So you had 15 kills through nine rounds. Were you setting yeah, yourself was... up? Are you trading with teammates efficiently? How were you able to catch fire like that? Nah, they were just getting shut on, honestly. They just couldn't kill me. <laughs> uh, like the first three to four rounds, they were just getting slammed. And I clutched up 1v2, and that's when I knew it was, it was on. Snoopy playing from bridge, able to get the kill. Geo can't quite get the trade. Time dwindling. Attached though. He'll get the route to pick it up two versus one. It's all on Prisa. Sorry, two versus two. Prisa and Beans. Attached with another. Now that no one versus one. Beans, Geo, 12 seconds on the clock, and Beans comes through. Such a good heads up play by Beans. This is not an easy scenario, right? Because he just holds this. Now this player, Geo could be on the defuse, but he's like, he's gonna challenge me. He could have been on it for a couple of seconds at this point. They really just did not have the info. You have Envoy all the way through. It's one player on it. Breeze is gonna have no idea. Hello? Now pressure on Breach. Once again, the opener's there. Kleenex <laughs> gets a triple and the round is done. That was a convincing one. Woo! Just right from the break, right from the get -to. We saw them set that up. This if, is clean. If props to Ultra just making enough chaos at B to allow Scrap to get onto the A point. Plays for the exit and it just makes life so difficult for Surge. Try to rotate across the map, follow it up through mid statue. Abuza, who do provide a couple of eliminations. Is it enough to flip spawns fully out? Not, not quite, but Brezzi around the back will at least block for now as Atlanta clean up everything from the front. Oh, Madraza with a great play to find three in the feed. You keep selling him alive. You read the play going on the pinch, and then you're also able to find an insane gun fight through the front end. Things are running it down. He just flies from the top side of the map, gets his fellow and Clay pushing up the back. Accuracy's on a flank. Here goes Gwyn. Gets the pair. That's going to be it. Uh, that oh is a God. big closeout, boys. Stack what you can. Hold on for the next wave of kills. Rocker are going to be able to get some damage done here, but it is going to be close. Can they get one hit through here? Clay trying to slow him down. This could be the map. Gwyn's on a spree. Anyone's going to get close enough to get the contest, get the kills? The answer is no. Ravens, three straight. They're in control. Okay, that was too easy, right? Like... Um. So Optic never fully get flipped. Moment of pressure here for Thieves. So Fred will say, I can't bring this into the next map, so may as well use it now. 
Kremp will fall to it. Optic still struggling to get back into the hard point, but all the pickup on the routes have been dealt with, plus the follow-up on the players stuck in for cover. And Optic are just a couple of points away from putting Thieves in the 100-point club. What a statement here on map number four. Optic clean, calm, and collected on the map they really have not shown us too much of in these major three qualifiers. You could just tell in practice that map has been cheating them really, really well if you're coming out playing like that. Your SMG's taking a lot of ground, being nuisances when they need to, just being super annoying around the map. LAT just could not find any ground to stand on as soon as they spawned into that one. Right off the rip, you go for that. And then everything after that has all a chain effect, but I'm pretty sure that's actually going to be our second 100-point club on the year. LAT were the team that got it done the first time, but now, unfortunately for them, they're on the backside of that as Optic Texas now put themselves at 6-1 and one in the stage. I don't know if that's going to put them up a seed. No, that's going to guarantee them that third seed, yeah. but the play maps that you have... Low they've looked and how good they looked in stage one. Until we get to the major, I don't know. Yeah, Once just... we get to the major, we'll see how they look. I... And then one thing maybe you're looking for if you're an ultra fan, maybe just some consistency and respawn from that giant at number two. That's Envoy. One in five star here. He's been struggling in, in hardpoint and control. Didn't go in search, but on rotation, Snoopy's going to find two and now break this setup. And this is what we're talking about with their lives. You've got a free site. One can't get out, scrap maybe a chow he didn't need to take because that's a one versus three. It's the same thing. Yeah, I, that's sort of island player. Your, your job, you have it. They have to be bomb site. I mean, you'd love for him to get one. If he gets one, it, it looks good. It's just that now you don't. Now it's a four versus three. You put your team into a tough spot. The good thing is bomb is down. So time working against Boston Breach. Good next in a bit of an off angle. You would think a quick trade. There it is. And there is the swarm, the double from Snoopy. Envoy, though, gets behind enemy lines. He's going to have a chance here. Ah. Ops to just go for a done fight, maybe get a freebie. Not going to see it. That's the problem. And, well, there is the retake. And, and yeah, you weren't wrong. Just scrap. He's playing for one. Yeah, he kind of sacrifices himself so Envoy can get out, too, I guess. Like, no, you should just run. Yeah, I mean, Envoy was able to, right? Like, I, I, we just didn't see what their POV looked like when the push came in. Like, if they got eyes on all three that were up front, like, I... I mean, all it is is you see the smokes, you, you see the trophies go down. It goes final 10 for the win. Surge are looking good. Oh, uh, they're turtling too. LAD is turtling in some corners. Breji, maybe the opportunity to make a play. And a team kill right there in that moment. Not well timed. And Breji made his way to the point. Can't buy a trade though. Nasty. Keeping his team alive. They might be prairie dogging. And turtling. Why not? It's all happening here. It's all coming out in the final hard point. LA Thieves, breaks are good, they're in. And the Booza find a few more kills in this absolutely sensational game of Rio Hardpoint. Trying to get himself forward, looking for that one opening. They've got a little bit of time to get the break. One is all it's gonna take. Yeah, Serge, though, they haven't been able to break this hill. Finally, somebody's taking a round instead of flooding into the blender. 04 gonna be calling it. I mean, he's taking the deep route. It just gets red. LA Thieves, the P1s are like butter. Oh, 10 for it. They ain't it alive. It's the bread and butter. Five seconds for the win. Oh my goodness. Here comes the lead change. CL Surge, you've gone to pieces. It's done. Thieves. 3-1 the final score. Yeah, I thought Ultra were going to be able to chain four hard points together to potentially take the lead, but the subliners cut their losses at P3. They rotate over towards Graffiti at P4 and were able to execute a great push out towards the back without, without even them blocking the spawns. They were just doing it by simply getting the kills. And even though Ultra have fought their way sort of back into this game, you still have insight in the back pocket with that cruise missile, but it's only eight seconds to the subliners call. Call game one. And you've got another five spree for Sky, Sib off the pinch. It's just the focus for Toronto. A couple of decent moments there between one and two, but largely speaking, still struggling to get a handle on this map. Back and forth go the kills. And that's another eight second thing in here for New York. He's been trying to secure it himself, but unable to. Insights double. Opens up space for Toronto to keep the map alive. But this is where it really matters the most. Being able to hold this off cleanly and get the clean rotation into one. Maybe we see some late game heroics, but New York going two for one in the feed. Here comes the flood. Yeah, here comes the play, because there's only one player on the point, but at least oh. the reinforcements are going to be here. Wait so Ultra, they were able to flip these spawns. They breached that 200-point mark, and now they have an opportunity to still be in this game. Insight with two minutes in Hill, but you need another flawless hold at P1 to keep it going. And Gizmo's going to get called out here. Cruise Missile, I think, was being called in for a moment. 
Here comes the play for New York, trying to come up from the front side, but Toronto perfectly holding, at least for now. Scrap able to reduce the presence from Kismet. Hydra down low can really only do so much from this position. The flood in through mid is still looking good for Toronto. They've got a really good read on this. So again, here we go. Toronto in a good position. New York trying to get around the back. And this is the route. This is the route that's going to make or break the subline is right here. And at least Hydra finds the timing on to Insight. Scrap with the double through the hill. Still keeps the opportunity alive for Ultra. They get all four dead in the feed. They are potentially going to steal map one right now. New York has to hit this horribly from the front. Trying to play over the middle of the map as well. But last eight seconds is coming through. Kleenex over the middle of the map. Oh! It works out. Kismet gets at least a one-for-one -one trade. But is that enough? One more hit coming out of Sim. And it's Kleenex doing his namesake. Wipes up the floor in the front side of the hard point in Toronto. Don't just get an extra lease on life. They turn it into a miracle here in the near end of Vista. Unbelievable.